Sims here and welcome to the 11th part of Until Dawn. We are about to make a really big decision, so let's jump right back into the game. You will find a lever placed directly in front of you. All you have to do is choose who you will save. Wow. What happens if you don't pick? Okay, 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 okay. This is gonna be okay. Oh, dude, buddy. Let's oh just think God. about this for Chris, a minute. You can't let me die. Just give me a second. I, 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 uh, I can't think straight. Just... Is someone walking oh. up behind us? Did you see it? Nope. Uh, save Josh, save Ashley. Oh, I have to pick someone? Save Ashley. Sorry, I don't like Josh. Ashley, I'll get you out of this. I won't let you die. Oh, thank you. Thank you. No. Oh shoot, we actually have to watch all of this? Oh, did I pick the wrong one? Oh no! Whoa. It's gonna stop. It's gonna stop. It's gonna stop. <gasps> He's not talking. He's not okay. We had oh, to make a yes, decision. Oh, that's yeah. awful. Shh, 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 stop, please. No. Come on, come on. Let's let's, let's no. get you down. Come on, we're gonna get you out of here. Whoa! Unbelievable. <sighs> gotta go, okay? <laughs> what actually is happening right now? Are you kidding me? Don't go back there. Josh, Josh, what? Dude, he said, Wait, not right what? in front of us, man. What are you there's, talking there's about? A maniac. maniac? Oh my god, we gotta get out of here. I don't understand what happened. There's a maniac. And he was, there was a oh, look, Ashley's losing it. What? This must sound oh so crazy god. to them. Okay, maybe those are the kids that are in the therapist office. Maybe it's Chris in the therapist office. And we should look for the others. Mike and Jess are off 69ing each other, and who knows where Sam is. I think she's in the lodge. Fine. Fine, you're right. Get everyone else together, but if there's a maniac running around, I think we need to get some help, too, right? Not just wait around. But what about... Why are we still talking about this? Let's go! Who would you guys have picked? Who would you guys have picked? Oh my gosh. I can't believe you actually have to choose. That was awful. That was awful. Oh, we're back here. Yeah, I think it's Chris in the therapist chair. Oh, great a clown. That's nice. And the office is more ripped up. You see that? It's like more dilapidated than last time. Every time we come back. All right. What are you going to make me answer now? Hello again. Hello again. Things are getting pretty tense up there, aren't they? Is the knife going the way you hoped it would? Oh. It's going fine. <laughs> what happens if we say that? Good. I see. <laughs> and you think that these poor people are getting what they deserve? <laughs> okay, now he's mad. Maybe we shouldn't have said that. Oh, uh, what do you want? What do you want? Who even are you? What I can't figure out is 
Why are we here? Why can't we just walk out of his office? There's something wrong. Are we hallucinating? Are we hallucinating all of this? What the heck is on the counter? Do you intend to continue this elaborate self indulgence? You're kind of freaking me out. Who are you? See, I knew it. It's a hallucination. You don't exist. The heart of the problem, it all comes down to this. Can you really tell the difference anymore? Because, oh, what? Did Josh not die? Is Josh actually alive? Because why would we continue to be in a therapist's office being treated like this, number one? And number two, it's falling apart every time we go back. Like, really? So that ha the whole thing has to be a hallucination. <laughs> oh, Josh, yeah. Um, he's dead. Or alive. Could be a lot of things. None of them nice. What if? <laughs> Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. I've just... Been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. So have fun. Oh, oh Josh was wearing plaid too. Jessica! I don't remember oh if Jessica God. was wearing plaid. Oh my God. I have a theory in Shit. horror movies: if you there wear plaid, you die. We're considering as a person <laughs> of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? It's a sanatorium? Now I have two asylums on my channel? Dread, six hours until dawn. Now I have two asylums on my channel, you guys. This is awesome! Why are we hiding? I don't see it. That's not good. What? That's really not good. Oh, Mike, sanatorium grounds. Why would we go to the grounds? Damn it. Why would we go there? Why wouldn't we see if we could help Ashley? And then if we can't, like she's dead. Right. Oh, we're screwed. Let's get a closer look. Why are you getting closer? Why is this a thing? Oh my gosh. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. You're gonna fall off. You're gonna get shot and you're gonna fall off of this. Way to let yourself be known that you're there. Bringing in a light, being loud, standing up real big. They're gonna shoot you. Like, put the light down, you dork. You know, it's like you don't want to let these people know that you're arriving. He's like showing up like... Oh, I don't... I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't see any totems. I wonder how many totems I've missed. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything of- Oh, there's a blinky over there! Blinky. A clue! <laughs> I wonder if anyone's built this sanatorium in The Sims. Whoa, there's one here! Is that a guidance one? Fortune. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we'll just walk out of this. I wonder if anyone's built this sanatorium in The Sims. That would have been really cool. Can we go up those stairs? No. <laughs> uh, maybe that well, it was no, it wasn't stairs. It was like a siding or something. All right, walking around the fountain. Good. That looked like that was a hand on the ground for a second there, but it was a branch. Oh, pup dog. Alright, let's just go in. Well, no, let's just wander around a little bit more. <laughs> Maybe we don't want to go inside just yet. Let's go around the uh, perimeter and see what we can see. Even though- Maybe but there'll be a clue over here. You never know. Why he's walking so slow. Good lord. Music is changing. Ah, a clue. Okay, there's gonna be a face when we move this. <laughs> um. What the actual heck? Are you gonna go in there? 
Oh, well, now we're inside. Maybe the front door was locked and we were supposed to find this. I have no idea. Why are you taking that light with you, you idiot? All right, we're inside. And it seems like with any scary movie or a game, it's always got to have an uh, asylum, right? All right, are we... Nope, we can't go that way. Nope. Weird that it, um... Are we just gonna crawl out? I've gotta be missing someone. Someone. Something. I think the glare on the TV is, uh, a little too glary today. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, okay, let's start off with this one. What are we doing? Okay, we're just gonna push it. I don't know why we're pushing this, but this is a thing right now. Why are you... T okay. That's just gonna stay there. Oh, to jump up there. Very Laura Croft of you, Mike. Ooh. Okay, so that could be Ashley. Lost Totem. That could be Ashley. Or that could be Mike. Or that could be anyone. We know it's not Josh. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hop up here and see what we can do. Thank goodness that wasn't a quick time event because I would have had to uh, pause that. <laughs> So we're gonna fall off of here and uh, break our ankles. Why is he walking so slow? Can you like walk faster? <laughs> I'm so impatient when I play these games. Looks like there's a clue ahead. Or something to crawl on. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's right. Okay, he's walking on his own. I'm not controlling any of that. Okay, so I'm not controlling this. So if he dies, he dies on his own, basically. Oh. Surprised he's not shouting through the door. Like those dogs of God don't know that we're here. They're hungry. Still can't control any of this, so it's just all happening. Okay, so we are gonna Zelda this, and we are gonna get through this puzzle. We are gonna look for, for a key. I don't even think there's gonna be a key here probably reach our arm through that and get our arm broken off. <laughs> I've played enough of these scary games to know. This suddenly reminds me of Outlast. Was Outlast in a sanatorium? I can't I can't remember. Uh, can we go this way? No. Okay, so let's go to admin. See what we can find there. Not seeing anything else. Sanatorium. That's all I can see. Okay, now we're in here. <laughs> now this looks like Last of Us. <laughs> oh, there's a clue. Why would there be a camera here? That is so weird. Okay. Weird. I don't know why we would need to see that. Okay, so last week's theme I noticed on my channel was um, a lot of death. We had a lot of deaths on my channel. We had, I don't know, a lot of Sims deaths. And now this week it's just going to be all sanatoriums. 
Okay, so we're gonna go through here. What does that say on the wall? Morgue. Of course we would be sent to the morgue in a sanatorium. Right? I feel like I'm missing so much. And I feel like you guys are watching this screaming like, Rory, you're going the wrong way. Oh, look, a clue. <laughs> Who found old newspaper? Assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. Albert something post hospitalized. Senior reporter. You can only read half of it. Unfortunate and internal inquiry has been lost. A lot of people died in sanatoriums back in the day, so I wouldn't be surprised there would be an article about a death in a sanatorium if that's what that was about. They, um... They were so inundated with people back in the olden days that they couldn't keep up with care for patients. And you guys are probably wondering how I know this. When I was setting up my asylum challenge for The Sims, I did a lot of research on sanatoriums and I don't know. I just wanted to know. <laughs> I feel like if I'm going to be doing a let's play on sanatoriums on an asylum, I should know what it's about. Who found medical notes? Um, okay. Report. Report follows regarding the initial state of the 12 miners after the collapse of the mine. Oh, the mine collapsed. And subsequent rescue at Blackwood Pines admittance. On receipt of the 12 patients at the sanatorium's medical facility, we had to fully, we had fully expected to find emaciated shells of men starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners appeared cognate and relatively healthy attributed to their apparent discovery of emergency food supplies in the mine. Meanwhile, something's walking up behind us, if you can hear it. <laughs> Inhibited respiratory function, blah, 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 pneumonia, psychologically being trapped for 23 days, difficult treatment due to delicate nature of some patients. We have closed off the A-wing. Huh. Oh, one of these guys actually tried to bite me. I'm going to report it. <laughs> well, there's that. I fully expected to see someone walking up behind us because if you heard that like all the noises behind us this reminds me of Outlast a little bit um I streamed that a few years ago on Twitch crapped my pants what a scary game this is never good going downstairs in like the bowels of an asylum sounds like we're getting closer to whatever noise it is too Oh, another clue. I wonder how many clues we've missed. We. How many clues I've missed already. That made me jump a little bit. Was that a knife? Okay, open. Oh, shit. Well, now we have a weapon. Take it. Cool. We can protect ourselves. Or if we're clumsy, someone's going to use it against us. Basically, why would you put that away? I would put down the light and I would hold the... That's a dumb spot for that mic. What are you thinking? So it looks like there's blood on the walls. I feel like the light is shining here for a reason. It is not... Ward... Oh, puppy dog. Wait, I'm going to look over here first. You stay there. <laughs> I wonder if those dogs are friendly like the dog that we saw in Fallout. <laughs> okay, so... Nope. And I'm not being that thorough as I would be if I was actually playing this on my own. And not recording it for a Let's Play. I think that skeleton was meant to startle me, but it didn't. What makes me jump is the loud noise, like the loud music with a jump scare. Not necessarily what I'm seeing. Oh, baby mouse! Did you see that? I'm such a hippie. Oh, can we walk over there? There's a clue in here, but I can't get to it. I totally... Darn it, we can't get to it. Maybe if we go around. Oh... <laughs> Hey, guys just trying to give us a hand. <laughs> I 
You want to give this guy a high five? Let's let's see what this guy's hand does. Kind of funny and kind oh, of gross oh, at the same time. Oh. This is what he was feeding them? Why would you actually touch that? Oh, he's lost his fingers. Wow. That has to hurt. Okay. Well, now your dinner. Bye, Mike. I don't understand he's not wearing plaid. You can just pull it open, can't you? You do not have to cut off your fingers. This is not a thing. Open the bear trap. <laughs> I think the game is going to make us amputate our fingers. Open the bear trap. Because I think it's just going to give us the same animation over and over again. Because I don't think it's going to let us... It's going to want the grotiest part. Yeah. Oh, now we've broken the knife. Third time's the charm. What do you guys think? Open the bear trap. <laughs> There's like nothing left to that knife. So I think we just killed Mike. Ooh, butterfly effect. It actually let him... Oh, jeez. I want... Did you guys that played this, did you guys cut off his fingers? Butterfly effect update. Okay. We can't change whatever that just changed. I would still use that machete thing. I mean, it's still pokey enough, right? I mean, it's still kind of sharp. <laughs> this place just gets better and better. Clue found. Strange skull. All right. All right, you guys, I'm going to end this part here. If you guys like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. Don't forget to leave your comments and suggestions and any questions you guys have down below. Let's just look at this one last clue. <laughs> Something's going to jump out. Okay, those of you that are sensitive, it doesn't jump out until you reach in. Oh, this is not going to be good. Who are we going to find? Maybe no one because, um, I don't know. Okay, that's a head. We found name tag. Attack by inmate. Fetal lacerations to throat. Huh. And that is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.